started to talk about like our um, New Year's resolutions and what we wanted to focus on for ourselves and then it was like we were just brainstorming uh, different activities that we could have and one of us just like randomly yelled out like new year new me <laughs> and then um, we decided that we wanted to have like a wellness fitness type of thing at um, the Sage Center so that's kind of how we came up with it. story in her building that that vision that she had and bringing that to the table when we were going through chartering and becoming an incorporated organization and all of those things we would hear these different things and like she talked about her story but actually living it for the last three years and thinking of the mission and the goals that this organization has set forth and what we've learned in our day-to-day -day lives so we now have stories on our website just from things that we, we're coming across in our, our everyday lives. Mm -hmm. So our mission and goals are really a part of our lives. Mm -hmm. Like it's what we're living, it's what we're seeing. And in being a dedicated person to my own life and my friends' lives and our e-boards lives, we have an understanding of kind of what people are going through and what they need help with, what we can do and how we are so similar and seeing ourselves in these people just in everyday life. Mm -hmm. So we, we've definitely, we're living the mission every day. Yeah. How else can someone else be involved and be a part of the Charm City uh, love team? Um, well, they can go to our website and then they can subscribe to our website or they can email charmcityloveinc at gmail.com and we can get back to them with more information. Um, they can always come, like if they look on our website, we always have our events updated so they can come to an event and interact with one of us, let us know that they're interested, and we would be more than happy to have them. Um, our members are also receptive to inbox messages if you have questions. There's a couple of people that have gotten in contact with me mm -hmm. through um, Facebook. We do have a Facebook page, Charm City Love Inc., our website. Um, charmcitylove.com Charm City Love Inc. Sorry, charmcitylove.com <laughs> My bad, my bad. Um, but all of our social media handles we're easy to get in contact with and we generally respond relatively quickly. Um, email is a really good way to get in contact with us. Let us know that you're interested in volunteering. Um, if we, we know most people personally, I'll tell them to send me a text message and I'll let them know when we have new events and they're like, oh, well, you know, such and such is in interested in joining too or getting involved. So, you know, if you could send them information and that's kind of how you get your personal contacts to come and help out when we have different events. But I remember like me making this joke like, okay, well, Kentucky Fried Chicken isn't just <laughs> in Kentucky, so we can have a Charm City love, but that doesn't mean that it has to start start and stop in Charm City. So like, I would love for us to be able to expand. I need for you to not be giggling behind me. Well, I'm definitely in front of you, but. I mean, in front of me, behind him. <laughs> oh, you want me to wait for your oh, pictures? No. Okay, I'm just. <laughs> 